Drop the gun! Show me your hand! So this video is almost more for fun than anything, but also shows a troubling trend in America. For a few weeks I've been watching how the number of mass gun events in America have been higher than the homicides in Chicago. So I looked back at my data from the weekly homicide reports, and there have been more mass gun events every week since week one this year than homicides in Chicago. Going back to 2018, Chicago finished every year with more homicides than mass gun events, and it's never really even been close. But as of today, Chicago has reported 198 homicides, and there have been 225 mass gun events in America. So the gun events lead, and it's not really close. So one could argue that Chicago is out to a slow start. Once summer kicks in, they'll retake the lead, and I wouldn't debate that. Last year at this time, Chicago had already passed the 200 mark and finished the year with 692 lives lost to human violence, their best year since the summer of Floyd 2020. You could also argue that Chicago just isn't reporting all the numbers correctly, and I wouldn't debate any of that either. I recently did a video on how the FBI is only counting about 8% of the mass gun events as such, so maybe Chicago is using the same criteria and not counting incidents where gangs were involved or during criminal activities like the FBI. But we work with the numbers that we have, and Chicago is on a similar pace to last year. It's the mass gun events that have changed. This graph shows on which day since 2022 we hit these milestones for the mass gun events. We hit 50 this year, two weeks ahead of 2021 and 2022. 100 the same. 150 got close and dropped to less than a week ahead of 2021, the year that holds the all-time record for mass gun events. And 200 hit again at six days ahead of pace. And we just hit the 225 mark on May 15th, eight days ahead of 2021 and 14 days ahead of 2022. So clearly, it's not that Chicago is having a better year. We have a mass gun event problem in America and it's only getting worse. The summer of Floyd kick-started a trend that had already begun, but gave it a huge boost. And here's another graph of the mass murders, meaning four or more people died by gunfire. We are already at the total we had in all of 2020, and it's only May. The most was the 36 in 2022, and we will likely blow past that number by the time kids go back to school in the fall. And I don't see any path where this changes anytime soon. An entire generation of young people have grown up thinking the best way to solve conflict is with a bullet. And short of a crime bill that puts these guys away the first time and for a long time with no bail, nothing is going to change. Too many kids are leaving public schools without the ability to read past a third grade level. And we are seeing the results of that in the streets. So stay safe, America. Keep your head on a swivel and remember, a bullet can travel over a mile unimpeded. So keep dodging those strays till these shooters get better aim.